U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken says that the negotiations to bring about a ceasefire in Gaza are, quote, nearing the 10-yard line. His comments came the same day the International Court of Justice issued an historic ruling that the Israeli occupation of the Palestinian territory since 1967 has been illegal. Deborah Pata has more now from the occupied West Bank. We're here in the West Bank, which Israel has occupied for the past 57 years, now declared illegal by the International Court of Justice. While the ICJ ruling might be non-binding, it's a damning condemnation of what it calls the perpetuation of apartheid in the Palestinian territories. The ICJ has ordered Israel to end its occupation as rapidly as possible. This includes here in the West Bank, East Jerusalem and Gaza, which it still effectively controls. The court has ruled that Israel must make full reparations for the harm of more than half a century of occupation. In the West Bank and East Jerusalem, Israeli settlers have carved out settlements on Palestinian land, often through forceful evictions, which the ICJ also declared unlawful. Palestinians have declared this a watershed moment, but Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called this court decision lies and a distortion of historical truth. The ruling comes as Israel continues to bombard Gaza with daily airstrikes. This past week alone, one of the bloodiest in nine months of war. Netanyahu will visit the U.S. next week to address Congress and this judgment will make for uncomfortable reading as the court advises that other countries should not recognize the occupation as lawful, nor should it aid or assist it. For CBS Saturday Morning, Deborah Pater, Ramallah.